Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Skillet coming to you from X4 Foundations. Reminder, the poll is still open. It is open till this Friday. Um, you guys have actually really surprised me with the poll. I was not expecting it to go this way. I, I was honestly expecting more of the xenophobic expedition nerds or Z, Z E N for short or xenon farmers. Um, I had little hopes for T skillet shooters. I really did. Uh, Terra can shredders. I was, you know, I was thinking that could be a contender, maybe top three, but for most of the votes to go to the 501st independent patrol fleet or the 501 as it's actually kind of really surprised me. I think it brings an air of realism into this sci-fi universe. Um, and I say that because there are a lot of units throughout history. Um, the fighty, the, I'm sorry, the fighting 69th, the Irish Brigade, um, the 42 or 42nd or 43 uh, of the, the Black Watch. You've got the 101st, you got the 82nd, you got the, the 1st Ranger Battalion. You have all these units throughout history that have been distinguished by a number. And I think that brings a sense of realism. And it, if that's how the poll goes, I think it's actually kind of really cool because then we can, we can make a story. We can bring Tales from the Front, a more realistic thing. And that's going to be the next episode of Tales of the Front, by the way. Uh, we are going to go over the naming of the fleet we are going to take a little deeper dive into the new Xenon ships. I believe I've encountered them all. However, there's one thing that I don't understand, and it's how to get the research for it. Maybe I have to do high mass teleportation one. I honestly don't know, but I haven't received that research for the Xenon part. Um, but today, now, other than a reminder for the poll, I do want to go over something that I said that we would touch on. And let's get... Where are they? Oh, Heroes of Prophets. Uh, Moon Raven. I'm going to throw a shout out to you. Um, that was one of your names that you uh, threw in there. That is the boarding fleet, just like I put in the comment. And there they are. They have already taken one of their first prizes. We do have another behemoth, so a total of three behemoths, which is great. Uh, but that's not what we want to go do. We want this here, the Nemesis. Nemesis. Um, I'm going to go over how these are set up. And there we go. That's gone. This is based off the mass driver. Um, where you guys had the comments uh, or about a video that you can put uh, ships into a, a stationary position and they will take pot shots at ships. Um, I'm going to show you a snippet of what I found, and it does work. Spoiler alert. Most of you saw that video. I honestly have no idea uh, where the video is. If somebody wants to put it in a comment, that'd be perfect. This was the second try that I did with this attempt. Um, I'm going to take a moment to try to explain it to you because I don't, I took the snippet, uh, the snippet video, um, a few days ago, so I can't remember how I, I explained it. I don't think I did a very good job. So we're going to, we're going to explain it. So how we did this? Well, first off, we have two mass drivers, Mark one, and then we have three mass drivers, Mark two. Now, I did it this way because I it was going to take an exuberant amount of time to get them all Mark III. So I thought, I'm not Mark III, I'm sorry, Mark II. Um, there are three ships in this little flotilla. Um, so they all have the same setup. And so the Mark I's are on the outer prongs of the ship, and then the three Mark II's 
are the three recessed. So the outer flank and then the center uh, weapon slot. Now, when I first did this, they were their individual ships. They weren't a part of this little grouping. They were their own commands. Um, as you can see, I have been using them. They've been doing some work. I really want to get a SATA drive. I still don't have one. I missed the opportunity to get a damaged Singularity engine, and I almost flipped my desk. I was like, no, that's not true. I didn't almost flip my desk. It did explode. I couldn't get it in time, though. Um, I, I really want one. Um, but I had them in their own individual commands, and they were roughly this distance um, away, and they weren't taking shots. So at that point, what I did is I grouped them together. I did a protect position command. Um, they cleaned up the area. And then what I did, because Second Contact 7 is a hive of this. And then so what I did was I grouped them together and then I pulled them closer to another group. And it worked that way. And so if somebody could find that video and put it in, in the comments, I want to know if that's how he has the ships because as their own individual unit, it didn't seem to work. And maybe it's because um, I didn't have, a, they didn't have an attack order before, or I don't know, because early in this series, we placed, fire authorization one, we placed the little pyramid boys on a ruthless attack all objects. So my idea was they're going to open up Regardless, they're going to open up, but they didn't. Maybe it's a distance thing. I honestly don't know. You know what? That's let's actually try that now. Move all orders and assignments. Fly and wait. All orders and assignments. Fly and wait. Let's see what this does. Because it looks like they're getting shots. And as we do this, let's see. Ooh. That looked like a direct hit. Okay. So now that that's going on, okay, so now they're attacking on their own based off their own individual command. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to group them back together. Attack with commander. There we go. So okay, it does work. See? Aren't we happy that we did that? You know what? I don't even need to put the snippet in here. I just got you proof. A visually, you know, proofing things. Awaiting orders. Um, and I'm very curious. Maybe it was a distance thing that didn't allow that to work. Uh, now, question for all of you. Do you guys utilize this technique? Um, I know uh, the comments mentioned it, but I don't remember the comments or anybody mentioning that you guys actually take advantage of this. Um, and I think I'm going to start. Now, right now in the universe, uh, since we are in the beta, we are having some supply chain issues, specifically the Talati. Um, the Talati used to be my go-to for building ships. I've never had to weight on things um but lately hull parts have been an issue with the talati and maybe it's because they are building the new where to go oh they're not here anymore nope that's an old one that's an old one let's actually take a look at their shipyard 
No, nothing's being built. That's an old one. Huh. Yeah, well, so... Hall parts, they, they were building the new... The E-Class Phoenix. Uh, I've seen at least four of them. Um, I have not seen an E-Class Behemoth yet in the universe, but that's okay. It's gonna be built. The Argon, the Antigone, they're gonna go towards that new class of ship. Not a big deal. I really want the pirates to do it so I could pirate one and not buy one. Um, my honest opinion of the E-Class Behemoth is the top turrets are just too far apart. I don't think there's significant coverage. It's five turrets. And they are pretty far apart. Just to... Just to show you my point. There it is. Here. Way back here. And then you have the top. The distance here... With... No other turret, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's a good setup. This one just seems more plausible to me. That's my opinion. I do love the look. I'm not going to lie about it. I do love the look. It's very angular. I'm not going to say it's really aggressive looking because I don't think it is. It's just an update that looks cool. I, I do like it. I do like it. I just don't want to use one or purchase one when I feel like the older one it does a little better of a job. So, but look, we saw we saw um, the mass driver in action as a position airy defense mechanism. Do you guys use that? Uh, let me know. Put it in the comments. Again, the poll is still up until Friday. Um, and then we're going to do another uh, Tales from the Front. We are going to christen the fleet, and then we're going to go a little deeper dive into the new Xenon ships. Um, if somebody also has a way to be able to get that research for the Xenon up, I have looked. This is probably one of the only times I have really done any research into this other than doing it on my own, right? I've looked in, into Reddit. I've tried to look in the Steam forum, the Ecosoft forum. Um, most people have had the research come about. Maybe it's because I don't have a production facility. Maybe it's because I need to do another technology. Um, I don't know. I didn't see a clear path to how to get or to how to unlock the tech uh, that. Ooh, excuse me, I'm going to need a drink. Um, I did not see a clear path on how to get to that uh, that research node, module, whatever you want to call it. Um, but let me know. Let me know. Again, poll. Open Friday. Let's get it done. You guys have really surprised me with this one. I, I, I will say that. Um, after this one's done, there is going to be another poll and we're going to have to get into that after the tales from the front. They are going to tie together. Uh, but this is going to be Skillet signing out for now. I will catch you guys again.